Hello traders, it's Rick here. I um, wanted to take a minute and kind of shoot a quick video and walk you through um, my results from last week. Um, kind of give you a recap of uh, what I've been working on and, and really the benefits of being consistent with your analysis. Um, whether it be um, trying to find out your entry, you know, looking for your targets. Um, stuff like that so <clears throat> excuse me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you my spreadsheet um, the spreadsheets only for last week um, I started over last week on Sunday with a three thousand dollar account um, and I, I had a you know a, a decent week last week so um, you can see here that um, you know I'm up 501 pips now, 39 of those pips come uh, today um, as I have my first trade this week hit targets. Um, but last week I closed out with 462 pips. Okay. Um, I did have some good some good trades and I did have some bad trades. Um, I marked the, the bad trades in red. And the bad trades are just, you know, trades that I took where I didn't completely follow my rules. Um, one of them here, I, I placed the stop in the wrong spot, lost 16 and a half pips. Um, the other one uh, was Pound Aussie. Um, this order should have been canceled, but it wasn't, and it ended up getting triggered while I was sleeping. And when I woke up and checked my trades, it was up 34 pips. So I closed it out um, and saved myself um, from a disaster. Um, this could have been very, very bad, and I just got lucky on that one. But, um, you know, 34 pips, I'll take it. But it is marked red for a bad trade. Um, the green, the greens, uh, trades in the green are good trades. Um, these two trades here, I've, I forgot to record the CTS score, um, which is how I score my trades. Um, and then the other ones are all good. And then this one here is another one I forgot to uh, uh, write down the the CTS score on them. But uh, overall, a pretty good week. Um, these trades down here um, haven't been reviewed yet, so they're not. They're not coated uh, red, green, or whatever. So, um, a pretty good week. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I, I've had um, a couple uh, private messages on Twitter um, and TradingView wanting to know um, how do I do my analysis. Um, so I thought I'd take a minute and uh, kind of walk you through it. Um, the, the the key is is to have a set of rules, um, back test those rules, and then follow those rules consistently. And uh, what I had noticed last week or the week before last, right, I was doing a week review um, the weekend before last, and noticed that I wasn't being consistent in my analysis. Um, I was trading. Um, on the four hour I was trading on the hourly um, I even did another uh, open up another account and it was trading on the three minutes you know looking for action um, but I started this year off only wanting to trade the euro dollar on the 60 minute um, trading one strategy on one time frame and that that has been going okay um, I think I'm in my second trade on that account but it's because I'm taking extended targets and my target and stop are so far away. I've been in that trade for um, roughly 30 days now because um, I entered it right after um, President Trump's inauguration. So I mean, I've been in that trade for a while and it has not come close to hitting targets yet. I almost got stopped out, but I survived it and I'm back at break even, maybe a little bit in profit. So um, just got to wait and see on that. But uh, this here is the Pound Aussie 240 chart. Um, and this is where I start out at first um, to kind of get an idea of what's going on on the higher time frame. Okay, so first off, I want to know is, you know, am I bullish or bearish, or are we in consolidation? Okay, and you can see that price fell down, right? We kind of rallied up, and we, you know, kind of did this two step here kind of doing a complex pullback you know we, we rallied up again you know we put in a, a, a double bottom here rallied up pushed down you know and we moved lower however 
we have not broken above this high which would have been the original outside return of this bigger move and we have not violated the slows which would have been the initial structure low so all this in here is you know complex pullback um, consolidation and that's kind of where we're at right now <clears throat> excuse me so if I zoom in what I'm only thing I'm really worried about is right in here okay we get this lower low lower close here okay we get a, a rally up we get another lower 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 close here we get a rally up and then we get another lower lower close here and then we get a rally up breaking these highs here um, and then we just really traded sideways as of late okay so the area that I'm going to be focused on and looking for trades in are going to be right here I want these highs I don't want these lows okay this is going to be my uh, resistance so we'll paint that red and this will be my support we'll paint it green okay so these are the areas that I want I want to buy down here and I want to sell up here so now that I know that then I want to go down to my hourly okay my trading time frame and I know that right now we're in consolidation so I want to put that in there currently in consolidation and that's just you know just a reminder okay then what I do is I look for certain things to be happening okay um, I want to ask myself is the RSI overbought or oversold? No, it is not. Okay. Then I want to um, ask myself, are we at a level of structure? Um, we are not. Okay, we're kind of out here in the middle of nowhere see if I zoom in here I'll drag this down a little bit trying to make it easy for you to see here that might work okay so we're in consolidation RSI is not overbought oversold okay we are not at structure so we can put that in there structure zero okay um, then you know I want to know if we have um, an ABCD pattern okay and the the move the move that that my eye is seeing okay is just this swing low here to this swing high push back down we we'll get a rally back up okay so this leg right here is what I'm going to look for on a uh, ABCD so I'm just going to copy and paste that and drag it over here okay so this let me mark it out so this is A this is B this is C and this is D or I'm looking for it to be D so D question mark because it hasn't completed yet okay but that's my that's my idea okay now we, we could draw in in the uh, the swings in here but I mean it's just it's just consolidation I mean, it's process doesn't know what it wants to do okay so I mean, that's, that's really what we got okay so we we don't have an ABCD yet okay but we, we kind of know where we should end up okay um, then I want to know if we have some kind of Fibonacci um, uh, confluence in there um, so we could do I mean we can do a bunch of different things we can take from this swing low here to the swing high okay price did come down here and touch this 618 which puts me on the Gartley alert um, so then I would immediately want to do this AB leg to find out 
where that puts me and that also hits the 618 so right now I know that I'm on Gartley pattern alert so then I'm going to automatically switch over to my fib extension from A to B okay we get a 127 extension just below that D completion point we also get a 786 in there um, so we're getting some confluence in there okay so we have ratio I didn't put that in there but ratio confirmation okay we don't have it now but we we, we could have it um, if price can get down there so we'll, we'll put a zero just for now um, the next one is um, advanced pattern Now we don't have an advanced pattern yet, but I do know that this is the first sign of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that on there, just as a visual reference of what I'm looking at. Okay. Now we, I mean, we're, we're a ways away, but I mean it, it's I mean the the ratios have been hit. We just need to we just need to get down there now and break this uh, B point here. Okay. So then I change this color because I don't I don't need it to stand way out like that. I just want it highlighted so I know it's there. Okay, something like that. Okay. The next thing I'm going to look at is is um, do I have a double top or double bottom? And no, we do not. Okay. Not yet, we don't. Then I look for an RSI divergence with a double top or double bottom. We don't have that yet because the RSI is not overbought, oversold. The other thing I look for is a 2618. And we don't have that either. Okay. So these these are the things that I look for um, when doing my analysis, and this is I mean this is how I go through it. You know I look for support and resistances on the uh, four hour chart, and then I go down to my trading time frame and look for trade setups that would um, meet my rules um, for an entry. Okay. Now what you can do is is you can go in here and say, okay, well. We we don't have RSI overbought oversold, okay. We don't we're not at structure yet, okay, but we do have the potential for an ABCD pattern, okay. So if the ABCD pattern completes, we can score it with a one, with one point, okay. If the pattern completes, we will have ratio confirmation, right? The the one twenty seven, the seven eighty six, right? So we can give it one point, okay. Now we, we will also have the Gartley pattern completion. So we can put let's put completion on here. Okay. And we can actually let's say we give that two points. Okay. And then we don't have the double top or double bottom. We don't have RSI divergence and we don't have the 2618 trade. Okay. But we now have a score of four. Okay. So the more points you have of everything lining up, the better the trade is. Okay. And with this setup, if it completes, it'll be a a setup with a score of four. Okay. And for me, with my back testing, I can take trades with a minimum score of four. But it's really going to depend on you and what you back test and what you feel comfortable with. You know, if you're real conservative, you may want, you know, um, so you score everything in one except for your advanced pattern in your 2618. So you score those as twos. So then if, if you wait for everything to line up, you'd have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'd have a score of ten. Okay? The higher the score, the better the 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 trade. You know, but this gives me a set of rules and a and, and a set of um uh, tools that I'm going to use to look for my entries um, on every trade okay and I go through this every single time I write it out 
Now I'm not going to go into how I score each one um, because for me, you know, an advanced pattern uh, means more to me than the RSI being over bought over sold. Um, the double top and double bottom must mean more to me than the 2618. Um, the double top, double bottom at structure means more to me than double top, double bottom with, with the RSI divergence and so forth. So, um, but this this is just the 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 process that I go through um, on every trade um, when looking for um, entry reasons. Okay. Now, as far as my stops, it all depends on my entry reason. Okay. Um, because if, if you look at this, okay, I mean there's there's a couple of different entry reasons here. Okay. A you know an A B C D completion would would be an entry reason. You know, if you back test it and it proves to be profitable, um, advanced pattern completion is an entry reason. You know, a completed double top or double double bottom could be an entry reason. A 2618 is a strategy all by its own. Advanced pattern completion is a strategy all by its own. You know, you can there there are strategies you can set it with ABCDs, a strategy on its own. But what I'm doing is I'm taking all these different tools and I'm using them the exact same way each and every time and I'm looking for you know these certain things to line up and then I'm looking for a minimum score of four so here on the pound Aussie if price gets down here to uh, 161.69 I can take this trade okay of course well, I shouldn't say I can take it I could possibly take it I would have to figure out my stops. Let's see my stops would be somewhere down in here. Somewhere in here, which isn't the best spot because I would want to be below this spike low, but my rules are my rules. So I'm not real sure if that's exact, but that's close. Um and then my targets are based on structure. Okay. So my target for this trade would be Let's see, we got, depending on how price does on its way down, my target would be somewhere in here, it looks like. We'll mark it right here, and then I'll, I'll look at it again. Then I can just copy and paste it and move it. Okay, so we got one there. So we got a lower level here. So this here... So target one would actually be down here. Okay. And then target two would be up higher. Something like that. Okay. And these these aren't um standard targets. Okay, I don't take standard targets, I'm just trading off a of structure. Because if you draw this down, I'm gonna be at just a above the 50% retracement and just about halfway between the 618 and the 786 for target 2. Um, now if we didn't have all this in here I wouldn't even have a target 1 I would just or two targets I just have one target um, to hit the structure but because we have some congestion in here and I, I'll show you what I'm looking at here I'm gonna drop a line right here I'm gonna change this green for my target Okay, this is what I'm looking at right here. I see this resistance area right in here. I'm looking at this support in here. We've got this long wick down here. I mean, we, we, we come through it a little bit, but I mean, it, it's, it's there, right? I'm looking at this down here. Resistance, okay. And we broke it through here. I didn't even scroll back this way, so I don't know. Look, we got support in here. So, just based off of this little area right in here, I would guess, well, I didn't even mark this here. This here would be a, a pretty good area, where I would say. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, it's 10 o'clock here, and I've been up since 3 o'clock. Oof, long day. But anyways, I, mean, I, I would say that this here is a, a pretty good place to get out at least some of my profit if we can get down there and get filled and rally up 
so um, that that's really you know all I'm doing um, in my trays now um, to uh, I don't know if there's another trade give me a second to see if I can't see if I can't walk I'm still in Aussie dollar or dollar academy I thought I'd been stopped out one one pip away and I'm, I'm surviving so it's gonna be a loser for it's about 36 pips but anyways um, I'm just gonna look through here real quick and see if there's anything setting up okay let's look at pound dollar now pound dollar I've, you know, I've already done analysis on it um, on pound Aussie um, I was in a trade earlier it hit target one and got stopped out on second position so I had to redo that one anyways but pound pound dollar I, I've already had some ideas on it um, I had two two trade ideas set up on this one here the first one was going to be a, a bear bat if price rallied up in here to the 80, 886 at uh, just just below the 2500 even handle but we haven't we're falling down <coughs> excuse me so what I'll do is I'll, I'll erase some of this kind of clean it up for you okay so what I'm looking is I'm looking at this right here you know price push down coming into this structure over here rally back up right come back down testing these low closes over here rally it up we broke this level right here okay and then we've come back down into it okay which this gives me my double bottom now we broke above it and now I'm just waiting on a 618 retracement to trade the 2618 okay and because the 2618 is a <clears throat> a strategy on its own okay not just an entry reason but it's a strategy on its own I can score it four okay now <clears throat> I don't just trade 2618s what I do is I mean this is too much <sighs> What I do is is I use it as an alternate entry reason because this here was the double bottom, but I actually missed it, the original entry. Okay, and then price broke up. Okay, and I was looking for this bat, and it didn't complete, so now it's falling back. So this isn't my my original idea. My original idea was catching that bat, but because I missed this double bottom, I can use the 2618 as an alternate reason to enter the trade and looking for a rally out of that. Okay. Now I don't just buy the 2618 or the 618 retracement. First thing I want to do is I want to find out my risk to reward to my target. Okay, so my risk would be somewhere down in here, which gives me below these spikes here. Not have to actually measure it out, but just eyeballing it somewhere in there. Okay. The 618 is right in here. Okay. Now for my target one, you know, because I'm trading on structure, it would have to come in right here. Okay. And I'm going to drag this over so you can see what I'm looking at. Support, 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 support. You know, we broke through it here. We broke, my, but I mean, they, they took big candles to break through too. I mean, there is a, a wick up there, but I mean, you know. But then, you know, once we come up, we break back down, and then we get resistance. Okay, we get resistance here. Okay, 
And then right as of late, we got support, support. I mean, it's not perfect, but I mean, the, the wicks to the downside are, are showing me that there's buying pressure in that area, okay? So if price can get down into here somewhere, I would want to buy it up looking for a reach test of this level, okay? Now this 382 doesn't mean anything. I'm looking at this 618, okay? So it's not, I mean, I, I guess it could be, could be confluence, but I'm not looking at that like that. Um, uh, so if I enter here, my risk would be this. And my reward on this trade would be this. I don't know about you, but I would not take this trade. Okay, inverted risk reward. Now, not saying that I won't take this specific trade. I just need a better entry. That's it. Okay, and for me, what I would want to see, if I can grab it here, is price come down in the 786, somewhere in there. And see what that does for me. Is that a one to one maybe? Let's see if I copy and paste that. Now it's almost let me delete this one. Now it's almost a one to one. Okay. So I would I would actually need price to push down a little bit lower. To be able to take this trade. Now the the trick on this is you know I can't just place a limit order down here, okay? Because I need to know that you know, if price gets down here, it doesn't just blow through it. Okay. I want price to come down in here and and show me that that it's not just gonna blow through. Like like if it comes down in here, you know, say like right in here somewhere, and we start getting a little bit of a relief out of it, you know, something like this. And then we come down a little bit more. You know, and we get smaller moves. Then, then I would I would look to maybe put a, a limit order at the 886 and hold it for a ride up. But it, it's really going to depend on how price action reacts when it gets down this low. Because I'm I'm looking for the 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 best opportunity now. If we come down, if price comes down and closes in between the 786 and 886, I can buy it up, you know, at market looking for my my reward up here but I have to have that that risk to reward in my favor um, and then for target two we're not really we're not in a trend we're just kind of trading sideways so I would look for target two somewhere in here And maybe just get these closes down here. Something like that. And that would provide me with, let's say I get half the distance of 786. So 24, oh, that's 2400. I didn't see that. So I'd have to be at 2405. At least somewhere in there. So that's 37. Thirty-nine, so that's one to one. And then sixty-five. So that that'd be a pretty good risk to reward.
Okay, just got stopped out on dollar CAD. So let me update that. Where you at, dollar CAD? And I got stopped out at 1.31465 for a loss of 36. So 138 this morning, lost 36 tonight, break even day really. But it is what it is. But so you know, there there you have it. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, and just 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 looking for smart entries and exits you know and and stop placements and you know being consistent with my analysis and 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 trading through it so i hope that answers some of your questions um hope you enjoyed the video uh feel free to leave a comment below reach out to me on twitter trading view um and until next time stay disciplined